Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is the awesome Keep the Chain Link Going project. We are at 70 links. I have a dream of getting past 100 links. I'm going to give you a quick strategy to make your own epic one and share it back with me in no time. Of course, if you want to see all the ones already created, there will be a link in the description of this video. All right, so here is step one of the project. Find the HLMT23 new shares. You can do it by searching HLMT23. You can also type the bit.ly. You can also type bit.ly slash new HLMT23. But once you get there, scroll through all the designs, and we're looking for a ZDP creation, the Gradient Bumper Pack. Now, when you launch this, friends, do not forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Before you copy and tinker, give it a reaction. This one is so cool. I'm giving it a staff pick ready and hitting copy and tinker. Friends, this is crazy complex and awesome, so it does take a moment to load. Make sure you're patient as it does load, and let me show you how to play with these. Since they're so complex, we're only going to use one at a time. I'm going to select this one right here. It is the wicked cool carbon fiber that was created by ZDP 189. We want to make this so that it's a little simpler for Tinkercad to work with. To do that, we go to your creations and we create a shape of that single part. It takes a moment for it to load. Some of these are way more complex than others. And like I said, this was carbon fiber. I'm going to do red carbon fiber for a name. I'm going to give it a tag that it's a gradient. I never lock the part size and I'm going to save that shape. Notice it loads right there. So now I can use it in any Tinkercad project. Now, friends, you'll want to save all of these or at least the ones you want to use. I am only going to use that one and I'm going to grab this Tinkercad one that's got the complex shape. Once again, you click on it, you hit create shape, give it a name, maybe a description and a tag. As I search, once again, never lock the part size, save it, and then wait patiently for it to arrive. At this point, we can quit with this project and go back to our Tinkercad desktop. And then this is the project that I'm giving you today. So this is the chain link. These are made with the bent pipe. It's set as a circle. 6, 3, 18, and 180 are the measurements. Lead in 10 and 10. I made two of those, flipped them, and I grouped them. I've been asking you to make that on your own, but today I am just giving it to you. Now I turned this piece into an inverse hole. Let me show you this real quick. I am going to ungroup my part right here and I'm just gonna move it away. This is the same part. Notice there it's purple, now it's a hole. And then once we've got a solid and our hole, we create what's called an inverse hole. Right there I have done L for a line. I want it centered. I want it centered and I want it centered. Notice I always do these from a corner because it's easier to see that center option and then finally group it. I made it blue so these red lines show up better. That is going to be the cool hole we use to cut out our gradient links. This one will have the little text note and it's for cutting our text later. You can just ignore it till I show you how to use it. Now we need to cut our gradient link with those awesome ZDP shared gradients. I'm gonna bring this one out right here. Notice this is six centimeters. Here is a real cool way to do this. If you do R for ruler and put the ruler right on the edge, you can click on that shape and just make sure it says zero and zero, press enter. Now it is lined up exactly. If you do control D and just nudge like crazy, if you change this distance to 20, it's instantly perfect. And one more control D fills out the three of them to get to 60. Now we simply grab those three, do control D. And this time I'm going to shift nudge this way, but I'm going to change this distance. See that negative 30 with the gap. If we type negative 20, it snaps perfect. We've got them lined up super quick by using that ruler, which is always awesome. Now we need to put this in the shape. Now we've got it dropped in there just like that. At this point, we can grab everything. And when you select it all, notice it says seven shapes and we can group it. 
it does take a moment because they're complex and just like that you've got your sweet link now you want to customize this with words to put the words it is smart to make sure they're always face up or mostly face up we're going to do that back here with the text option don't forget you can also search for the script option i've got those saved in my favorites when you bring out your piece of text or even maybe SVG text, set it as flat as you can. Make it say the word that you want. I'm going to put HL Mod Tech. And then squeeze it so it fits. The smartest way is with Alt Shift because it goes around the center. So that way you can line it up right to the shape. F to fit view. Pick a fun color. I'm going to go with a really bright yellow. You can customize it and get it just the way you want. And then we need to stretch it out and push it in. If you want those little angles, you can do a little bit. You should not do too much. If you want to put words and decorations all around, you can. All right, here's our trick for copying this. First thing, I'm going to do Control D so I don't lose my text trimmer. I'm going to take the link and I'm going to lock it so it doesn't move. I'm going to grab the link and the link cutter, and I'm gonna do a line. I'm leaving the text alone, and I want this to come right to the center and right to the center. Now I can grab all those pieces, and even though it says three shapes, when I group it, it is only gonna be two shapes, and there is our text that actually follows the curve of the chain link. You can have so much fun decorating these, playing with the different effects. And remember, there were so many cool gradients to experiment with. Once you have a link with all your decorations that you're happy with, though, it is time to share it with me. The steps are super simple. First, I highly recommend you back out to the Tinkercad workspace, and I recommend that you duplicate and make a copy. This way, if something goes wrong, there are no issues. You can, of course, get back and fix whatever happened. Once you do have it created, friends, all you need to do is share it with me by clicking the Collaborate button. If you generate this link and copy this link, then you can reach out and share it with me. You can, of course, check the properties of the video, but you can also just visit my website, find that Tinkercad chain project, click the Show More to see all the details. Right here is the form to share your link. If you need more instructions, you can also click right here. I'll show you the form. It is super simple. It tells you to paste the share link, which is just like that. Do control V and press enter. And down below, you can leave a comment if you wish. I can't reply. If you do want to reach out, make sure you use the messaging tool on my website. And then finally, hit submit. I do have one other way that you can share. Don't forget, you can also make your design public. Before I ever do that, I love to click on the settings, switch to a more fun background color, shut off that show grid. You can delete all the extra stuff I don't need. You could also use the notes and leave me a message. And once you have it all laid out just the way you want, you simply return to the Tinkercad workspace. Click up here on the properties. Notice I put chain link to HL Mod Tech. That might help me find it. Of course, friends, in the description, you'll note I have a tutorial. You can always check the new HLMT 23 shares. Here are other ways to reach me. And then finally, when you do the tags, if you add the tag HLMT23 and press enter, then click here to make your design public and leave it as attribution share alike. I will be able to copy it and add it to the project. Finally, choose I'm not a robot and hit save changes. As soon as you've done that, friends, if you click up on the gallery, of course, the first thing you'll see are the awesome staff picks. Friends, don't forget when you see these, if it's one of my designs, there is likely a tutorial. If you don't see a link, make sure you check the images for the bit.ly. Also, other cool things that I'm promoting, like the awesome SimLab projects, and of course, super quick ways that you can sub me on YouTube. Finally, though, if we shut off those staff picks, hit the large grid so we can see more designs at once, check it out. Just like that, your cool project will show up so that I can copy and tinker it and add it to the full project. Note, if you want to help other users find the original project, you can put my original tutorials up there in the properties as well. Don't forget, friends, whenever you do share with me, I will, of course, 
give a reaction. Speaking of reactions, let's see if we can find something cool to react on. That is a sweet skate bar project, giving it an awesome. Here we have a Minecraft sword. That is wicked cool as well. And check it out. Here is a cool note to Speedy Machines. Love when users try and work together. Of course, I'm going to give that an awesome. One final reminder, friends. Don't forget, Community Gallery staff picks. Here is that gradient bumper pick. Of course, make sure you've given it a reaction. Of course, check out all the cool creations by ZDP. There are always new ones, including this awesome My Energy right now that was just created. Absolutely love that I can view it in 3D, and I thought it was pretty darn awesome. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you look down in the corner, friends, of course, you will find the built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion to reach me almost instantly. At the top of the page, you can find a link to the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, we've got a a boatload of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tankercad. Finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a good